Friday video number two in my five video Friday. This is another product suggestion for Procter & Gamble. I think it's Procter & Gamble that makes this. There are the Puffs, whoever makes Puffs. I probably, I knew at one time I did look into it. I don't know if it's, what is it, Lieber? Lavin Lieber or something, Lieber Weaver, or Procter & Gamble, one of these companies. But you know the Puffs tissues, like Schnaz tissues? They came, in, came out maybe, I don't know, what, about 10 years ago with a, the one with lotion, right? Now, back in the day when you didn't know it had lotion, you know, you're at somebody's house, you're like, God, I got to blow my nose, and you grab one, and you're like, and, and you're like, I mean, it's like a lot on your nose. I think the original ones they made for the first few years were pretty heavy duty with the lotion somehow in the paper fibers. But in the past couple of years, I've noticed, because my sister gets them all the time, that when I do get them, they don't seem to be as laden with the lotion, which is a better idea for them, as far as the schnoz goes. But here's the thing. In the wintertime, okay, what happens is, is cold air holds much less water than warm air, okay, water vapor. There's a thing called the dew point, which I'm not going to get into because I'll talk about it for 20 minutes because I love the weather in these things. But... What happens a lot of the time in the winter time, which you can get away with in the summer and stuff when there's more moisture in the air, is washing your hands and then you don't really dry them that well. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like the uh, Jim Carrey uh, in one of the, uh, when nature calls. There's the drips on the guy's pants and he's like, and, and the drips in the front of your pants are just a one, you didn't have time or you didn't do the two, the two, the two pee pee shake. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning like you're all about, but anyway, look that up if you want. But here's the point. It's a good point. Oftentimes people don't dry their hands really well, especially people who wash their hands a lot. What happens is, is the water is left, the water that stays, and not even a whole lot, that stays on the surface of your skin, of your dermis. What happens is, it evaporates really quickly. But what happens is when you have water, you know, our, our, our skin is porous, Okay. Water, not even necessarily because of the pores proper, I think, but also, too, water leaches, out, it wicks out, okay? Um, so as it evaporates, it, can, it, it will remove, the water will evaporate very quickly in very dry conditions, okay? You got your furnace on your house if it's zero degrees outside. Well, if it's zero degrees outside, the dew point's probably 20 below zero, which means there's barely any water in the atmosphere. Well, you come into a warm house, the air is super, super dry. I mean, they have like a 20, negative 20 degree dew point in a house that's 70 degrees is pretty hardcore, right? That's why people have humidifiers. But what happens is, to get back to the point, is water then, the remaining water, not even if it's a whole lot, will evaporate usually pretty quickly off your hands because the air is so dry. But what it does is it leaches. There's another term for it, for like leaching. God, what is it? pulling the water off, but your skin dries, so it pulls water, moisture that's already in your hands out, which results in cracked, and often you, know, you get the bleeding knuckles and you know the splits in your fingers. Here's my idea as it relates to the product of this Procter & Gamble, or God, what is it, lever? Sunilever, anilever, unilever. What you do, they have hand towels now. They're kind of, it's a new product. I mean, it's more popular now, where it's kind of like a box of tissues, but it's a little bigger. And they're hand towels. Like when you go to the bathroom, you dry your hands with them. Make, put that lotion in them. Not a whole lot, but they'd be great in the wintertime. Because I noticed back in the day, not long ago, I was at my sister's joint. And oftentimes what I'll do is if I, you know, do something, if I, you know, I'm a germaphobe. So if I look at the towel there, and, no, not at my sister's joint. My sister's very clean. But sometimes at people's places, you know, you wash your hand or whatever, you look at the towel, right? And the towel is sort of grungy looking. You know, I'll go and grab the toilet paper or a tissue and kind of dry my hands with that just to be on the safe side. Well, at my sister's house, I just get in the habit, honestly, she's, she does wash 17 times a day. But I took one, once or twice the tissues out of her puffs that were the ones, the older model, laden with the lotion, puffs with lotion, and dried my hands, and I realized, I'm like, God, not only did my hands dry, but it left a nice residue of lotion. Not a whole lot, but enough. I think that's a great, great idea. And I've been looking for someone from Unilever 
or Procter and Gamble. What are some of the other companies? I think you'd rake in the cash with it, literally. Not only that. See, the big thing what I with my ideas, I think it's a great idea. I think it's good if it's out there to help people, you know. And if it's, if you can get a briefcase of fifty dollar bills left at the Starbucks with my name right on it, that'd be terrific too. So that's the hand towels idea. I'm telling you, it would rake in the cash. Remember where you heard it. Terry Keating on the Bonzolium channel.